I have uh, clause number five different than numbers two, three, and four. Well, it's different because we've helped, like Lacey said last time, we've helped all the other class, classes get it done. And it just feels good to have one for ourselves. I mean, of course it's for the, everybody else, but just to know that we closed out on top and we took care of business. Were you guys, you seniors, envision a high school career going four for four with four state championships? I mean, is that is there anything more that you could envision beyond that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, no. is it crazy? I mean, is, is, at any point, you know, earlier in your high school career, did you say, you know, we're going to go four for four? <laughs> let, let me say, I never envisioned going four for four. That was never. Uh, what we really uh, saw as an opportunity, but what I did see was I saw a class full of hard-working uh, young ladies that wanted to be players. So I think with each year, it became like, wow, we could win it again. Wow, we could win it again. <laughs> we could win it again. <laughs> so um, I think that has been such a, a motivating factor for uh, for me is that they wanted to be good. They wanted to be the best, and I think they sure have made a statement. You know, uh, winning four state championships in a row is is unbelievable. I mean, I played and I I never saw the the gym other than the bleachers uh, at a state championship game. So for them to be four time state champions is unbelievable. And at a certain point, does it become for you guys about not wanting to be the team that doesn't win another title? Yeah, uh, absolutely. How much pressure does that create? Um, a lot of pressure because I mean, you don't want to be the class that loses. Like you have four state championships for the school, and then you're a senior, and then you lose. Like that's lame. <laughs> <laughs> Lacey, they left here with one girl uh, with a broken nose and one girl with a broken hand. Ooh. Oh, what do you say? Yeah. Oh, you guys. Apparently it was. You guys had a lot of points today, but um, the defense, again, like it seems it always is, was just completely put them into, you know, scattered flustered mode. Can you talk about what you guys were able to do and kind of the identity of this team? We're very we're a very aggressive team. We come out with a lot of intensity and energy and I think that just motivates us and pushes us even farther to be more intense and more hype to just get it done, you know. Offense comes from defense and mm -hmm. Yeah, we I think we broke a record with our scoring. We never scored over fifty points or fifty four points. So mm -hmm. it was pretty good. <laughs> what does this one uh, rate in terms of championship game performances? I think, from first of all, I want to say Blake is a really good team. Um, I think uh, the coach over there does a good job with them. Uh, Danielle, she's going to have a great career. I think, I think, uh, kind of frustrated them. Though. I think uh, the way that we played defensively was up there with the 05 class. Uh, I think that intensity, I think they brought the same intensity this year as that 05 class uh, uh, came with. I think that it, was, it was a really gutsy performance uh, on the defensive end, um, and I think it was a team performance, and we just kept trying to send fresh legs at Danielle, making sure that she uh, didn't get going, and, and as you see, she still makes some, some, some key buckets. Uh, and I, I have to tip my hat to them. I mean, she's a competitor, without question. You mean the 0405 or 0506? <laughs> oh, the first one. 0405. <laughs> 0405. <laughs> I think uh, this. I think though this this. And my assistant coaches and I argue this all the time. <laughs> which class was the best? Uh, this, uh, I think this class is probably the, the deepest and the most talented group of. Uh, players. <laughs> I'm definitely proud of the Zen Lakes. I mean, they, they, one thing
thing that they have done different than the first class that won is they came through the front door. They came through the front door, meaning uh, the first class people didn't expect us necessarily to win. They wouldn't. They wasn't looking for us to win. So uh, by the time they looked up, we, we had the victory and the season was over. They said, "Okay." But this class, they've had the target on their back since they got to Roosevelt. So they had to come in the front door. So people were looking to to beat them every night, every single game. Every possession was a hard possession. Uh, it was a lot of pressure on them to repeat every year that they won. So for me, I mean, that's unbelievable pressure for a 14, 15, 16, 17 year old every year to have to be, that, that's the expectation. Not to win the county championship, not to win the county game, but to win the state championship. And to actually perform at that level, I mean, it speaks so highly of these young ladies. I mean, I'm so proud of them. I mean, they come to work and they come to war every single game. Any of the underclass? Or, what, well, these are only the seniors? You're only junior. You're junior? Yes. Number six? <laughs> when do you start thinking about it? <laughs> <laughs> You've heard them talk about, you know, what it's like well, to be a senior. Well, I just want for us to just keep playing as hard as they play. Because this year, they show me a lot. Like, the seniors, everybody had heart. And I think we all need to come back with the same intensity and heart that they had. So I'm just ready to play next year and get my team going and finish out as well as they did. Good, <laughs> I'd ask you guys about the emotion. I mean, through counties and regional, you guys never really showed any. So how did you feel to be able to celebrate today, finally? <laughs> <laughs> It's finally over. It feels like we've been together for about 30 years, man. <laughs> you know, I love them a whole lot. And I think we need to have still a big celebration. <laughs> party, you know. <laughs> party at my house. <laughs> I, I, I want to reiterate, I feel like, whew, I, I feel like we... We lift to the finish line. I mean, if you didn't, if, if, I, and we never make excuses about anything. But I think everybody up here has a sprain or a contusion or a backache or and a couple of other things. But it's like uh, hurry up and get to the finish line. We was trying to stay out in front of the pack. It was like uh, Lacey said last time, it's a marathon. And... That last mile is the <laughs> toughest mile, and I think that uh, they outlasted everybody else on that, uh, and I'm so proud of them. I just can't say that enough. And and the most important thing that I think people forget is the supporting staff, coaching staff that I have has been with me from the boys at John Lancaster, Yolanda, uh, Kelly, uh, Pete, and Debbie. Uh, Foster. By the way, we have another little Foster. He, he, <laughs> Coach Foster is a grand grandfather twice. Now. <laughs> uh, that's why uh, Miss Foster is not here with us today. Um, and but she was calling every single <laughs> day to find out if they've been shooting their free throws. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Andy Blocker. Um, I've just appreciated them. And I think they are true mentors to these young ladies. I think, with, and not that I think, I know without their support, without uh, the fans that helped us get here, making sure that they had rides to practice, mm -hmm. making sure that they were at practice, and making sure that they, they did what they were supposed to do, uh, it's, it's tremendous. And I think beyond basketball is where they're going to meet their most success. I think this is just an experience to help them be great people. And that's what the goal uh, that my coaching staff and I have set for these young ladies is to be successful in life. And through basketball, is just an actually an uh, opportunity for them to practice at being successful in life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but I'm just so proud of him, and man, I don't know what I'm gonna do without him. I guess I'm gonna ride on her back. Good <laughs> luck. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you, guys.